Okay, let's start from where we left off. I'm going to draw a line, and I'll draw it from this midpoint to that midpoint. I'm going to move that line in this direction by 0.5 units, and then mirror that same object about this midpoint, and we'll put it right there. I can project a line from this point through the miter line and then project another line exactly from an intersection. Let's do that again. Let's draw a line exactly from an intersection and I'll draw that line to a point that is perpendicular to here. But now I want to draw that line in that 330 degree direction. Now I'm going to make that line longer than it needs to be. Let's erase this construction geometry so that visually it's not in our way. I'm going to make these three lines cutting edges and then do some trimming. I'm going to mirror that diagonal line about this midpoint, and we'll put it right there, and once again I'll make this diagonal line a cutting edge and do some trimming. Now I'm going to copy this line in this direction by a quarter of an inch. I'm going to draw a line exactly from this point, but I'm going to draw that line so that it is perpendicular to that line. I'll use the trim tool to make this a cutting edge, and we'll trim that. What I did was just represent a partial um, how should I say it, a machining or an area that was machined from the part and that partial area is going to be reflected over here. And I'm going to do that by copying that line in this direction by looks like 0.5 inches. I'll use the extend tool to extend to this boundary edge this line right here. And then I'm going to reassign that line to the hidden line layer. Now I'm going to draw a line exactly from this intersection to a point that is perpendicular to that line. And I'll use the trim tool to trim back to this line, that one right there. And I'm also going to trim back to this line, that one right there. Now I'm going to draw a line from this point. I'll draw it up through that miter line. Let's draw another line exactly from an intersection. And I'm just going to drag it over to here for the time being. Let's copy this line. I'm going to copy it from that point to a point that is perpendicular to that line. Now I'm going to draw a line from this point to a point that is perpendicular to here. Let's make each of these lines cutting edges and trim both of those. Now I'm going to use the mirror tool and select both of those lines, but I'm going to mirror them about the center of that arc. And let's use the trim tool to make each of these two lines cutting edges, and once again we'll do some trimming.
Now let's go back and erase this construction geometry that is no longer needed. And I'm going to use the mirror tool to mirror that object about this midpoint. And we'll place it right there. So now with the exception of adding the center lines, this, this drawing is complete. We'll put the center lines in in part four.